video, we'll be looking at how to set up a very simple animation rig in HitFilm Express. And seeing as it is the beginning of winter, I'm gonna make a penguin. Now, the main idea behind making an animation rig is taking all of the limbs of your animated character and basically giving them joints and attaching them all together so that they move realistically. To do this, we'll be using anchor points and parenting layers to other layers. An anchor point is basically the center of a layer. It's where it's scaled from, what the position of the layer is counted as, and most importantly for us, where the layer will be rotated around. You can adjust the layer's anchor point in the transform section under a layer's controls tab. Now this point is basically where that limb will rotate from. For example, your arm rotates from your shoulder, so we would set the anchor point of the arm to be right around here where it connects to the shoulder. In the exact same way your head rotates from your neck and your neck from your shoulders and your feet from your ankles, you get the point. Now let's move on to parents, which are found in the composite shot timeline. The parent of a layer is another layer that that layer is attached to. In our case, we'll be attaching limbs to the other parts of your body that they are attached to. For example, your hand is attached to your forearm, which is attached to your upper arm, which is attached to your shoulder. So we would have separate layers for the hand, the forearm, the upper arm, and the shoulder. The hand will be parented to the forearm, the forearm to the upper arm, and the upper arm to the shoulder or torso. It's also important to parent the eyes and other facial features to the head. Now once you've parented everything accordingly, if you move certain limbs, the others will move with them realistically. Now all of your parents will be traced back to a central point, usually the torso. This central point is what you would use to move the entire layer. Now let's move on to how you actually animate this, which is using keyframes. Keyframing, found in video editing and animation software, is a much faster alternative to frame-by-frame -frame animation. If you have some experience editing videos or doing animation, chances are you probably already know what keyframes are and how they work. So I won't explain it in this video, but I will link a video that does talk about it. Now in HitFilm 4 Express, you have the option to use the value graph. The value graph basically allows you to have some more advanced control over your keyframes and how you go between them. The keyframe system for speed is very basic. The speed of movement at the beginning and end of the animation are exactly the same. Now the problem with that is that it's often very unrealistic. For example, if you want to animate a car driving away, that car doesn't just start going at the same speed. If you're going from 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds, you at least have to start at 0 and work your way up to 60. So we can use the value graph to make that movement gradual. I used the value graph in my most recent speed art video to make the movement of a clip faster towards the beginning. Finally, let's talk about eyes. Eyes are extremely important to a character because they show emotion and give personality. The way I suggest creating eyes is by making a new composite shot. I'll make the white part of the eye and the pupil perfect circles in this case, and then I'll move the pupil towards the edge of the eye. This will make it to where when you rotate the eye layer around, the pupil will move and it looks like the eye is looking in different directions. Now let's talk about this penguin. The anchor points of the head and fins are set at the shoulders, and the anchor point of the feet towards the bottom of the torso. Now since we don't have complicated limbs here, like a human arm, everything will be parented to the torso, which is the central point. Just as a bit of a unique example, I've also created the caterpillar. Anyway, that is all for today. If you're watching this the day that it goes up, happy first day of Hanukkah. If you're watching it a day late, Merry Christmas, and if you're watching it two days late, then happy first day of Kwanzaa. Make sure to like this video and share it with your friends, subscribe to see new videos like this every week, and I'll see you in the next one.